Hey, we are going to find out, this is for fire signs, by the way, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I'm Crystal. We're going to find out why your person hasn't came back yet, okay? Like, what's going on with them? Yeah, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords. It's like every time they try to move forward, they get pushed back. You see forward movement, and then it goes backwards, then you have the Seven of Swords. This person, I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords. It's either this person has a hard time owning up to things. Um, you do have the Ace of Swords that was popping out in the Temperance card. I feel like this person is running from their own truth. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius since this wants to come out and the Wheel of Fortune. This person may be facing a lot of karma right now. This person's life may kind of be like inconsistent. Things are kind of falling in and out and all over the place in their life. And I do feel like they're healing from things, okay, as well. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. The Ten of there's too many cards, but the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. This person does not want to recognize the truth, all right? Five, they're, they're internally fighting, battling within themselves. There could be a lot of arguments or fights going on in their lives with other people, external people in their life, or inside, the Four of Cups, it's like, you know, you've offered your cup to them, you've been waiting for them, you know, they ain't talking to you, they don't want to, it's like Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, Five of Wands, straight up avoidance towards the truth. It's like this person knows what the truth is, but it's like they're running from it, you know, and it's like the Ten of Swords too as well. They could have betrayed you, maybe some, this person doesn't want to own up to the things that they've done. Right, but I do feel like this person is just I don't know if they have an anger issue or if they're going through what are they going through? Why are they avoiding so many the eight of cups? The eight of cups is kind of walking your spiritual path, like on your spiritual journey, right? Um, healing, leaving things that no longer serve them, right? But the Eight of Cups is also somebody who's a little bit disconnected from their emotions. And this is why it is so easy for this person to just not keep on coming back around because this person has learned to kind of like close off their feelings and just move forward. And holy helicopters. So you have the High Priestess that fell down, okay? So I do feel like, and you know, it's... This is intuition. This is like, um, you know, it's like this person knows deep down, right? The Ace of Swords too as well. This is somebody who knows the truth. Somebody who knows like what this connection is. But it's like running, 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 you know, blocking, resisting. Why are they resisting this so much? The Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. They're too much in their mind. They think this is going to be something that's like, Oh, yeah, this is a dream. You know, it's just, it's never going to happen. You know, it's bullshit. You know, love hurts and, you know, stuff like that. I feel like this person has a really negative outlook on love and life. And, you know, this person could have been cheated, betrayed, you know, cheated on, betrayed, backstabbed. This could be from the closest people to them as well. So maybe if this person, you know, it's like they been cheated on or by the people that they love the most or treated like shit by the people that they love the most so it's like why would this person be any different and why would they treat me any different which is you you know what I mean so it's like in this person's mind they think everybody's out to get them I just seen uh three four three so whoa 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 too many cards the two of pentacles and I just seen the three of wands too so it's like this person's trying to weigh out their options. They're just waiting for the perfect time. So let's see. Is this person going to reach out to you? The Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. Yes, I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you. But with the Three of Cups, they got to find their happiness within them first. You know, I think they've done a lot of, like, searching through other people to find their happiness and realize that it didn't get them anywhere it's because it starts within first. Once you love yourself all the way. It doesn't matter what anybody does to you or says to you because you have your own back. You are grounded. You are confident within yourself, right? So it's like this person is not. Let's get a timing. The ace of cup. You literally have three aces here. All right. So the timing can be um, one month. 
king of wands not really i feel like this is a plan of theirs and then you have the full to me it doesn't look like there's going to be too much time you guys are going to have to wait you have the hierophant on the bottom of the deck too which is about commitments and doing things the traditional way and you know this is also Taurus energy, and Taurus is like one month away. And then you have the Fool, which is like taking that leap of faith. This is also kind of like a fast card. And the Ace of Cups is one month, right? So, and the King of Wands is a fast energy. It's kind of like a swift energy, following through on your plans, okay? So what does this person think of you? The Ten of Cups. They're happily ever after. So... I do feel like the reason why they've been sticking away from you or staying away from you is because they have some internal things that they need to work on first. And I feel like they don't feel like it would be fair to you if they were to come in like this because if they're all over the place, if they were to get in a connection with you right now feeling this way or in the past feeling this way, that connection would have been all over the place too. And I feel like the, I heard on reserve. Wow. This person could have literally put you on reserve and it's like, okay, you know, this person loves me. They're waiting for me. So right now I'm going to take care of what I got to take care of now. I'm not going to pay any attention to anybody. I'm going to just focus on me. I did see the nine of pentacles that fell out earlier, but I think I put that back in the deck. It's like this person knows that they need to be more confident in the things that they're doing and in themselves. And I feel like that's what they're working on right now. But the reason why they were like staying away is because they weren't ready. You know, so that's what I got for you. It's just a quick little reading, okay? Um, the Six of Swords. They have to detach from whatever it is that's going on in their life that's too rocky with all this water. It could be alcohol. It could be emotional issues, you know, but whatever this is, like carrying too much weight in your mind, like too much mental baggage, and it's like this person needs to let go. You know, they might be like leaving their kids or walking away from their family or not leaving their kids, but like let's say if they're in a connection, and they have kids together. I feel like that's something that's very hard for them to let go, of course, you know, or to move away from. Sometimes I can't talk. I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. For the Ten of Cups to come out as how they feel about you is the happily ever after card. It's like they know deep down that, you know, you guys are supposed to be together. Right? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they know. They've been getting signs. They've been hearing your name. You know, it's like... The Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Temperance card. Give this person some time. This is about reunion. This is about doing things in moderation. And the Six of Pentacles is about, you know, um, reciprocation. So I feel like maybe the person in the past wasn't able to reciprocate. But I do feel like, wow, now when they come back with the Two of Cups, that's equal give and take. So it's like in the past, they weren't able to give you what it is that you needed or wanted or what you deserved. But... When they do come back, it's going to be equal, okay? It's like they had to go through all this stuff that they had to go through to kind of figure out, like, that didn't really work. And um, this is going to push them towards you. So that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe. And have a great day. Toodles.